Hello, today we are here to talk about registering for blood drive shifts. Today we will specifically focus on registering for blood drive shifts in your global shift tool. Your donor ambassador position automatically connects you to the global shift tool that is appropriate to your geography. But one step that needs to take place before you are able to see the shifts on your global shift tool is updating your biomedical profile. In order to do that, you're going to head to my profile. Once that opens, we are going to look for biomedical services on the menu bar here on the side. Once that pops up, you will see it brings you all the way down to the bottom. And you'll see here that I have no biomedical county set. It's blank. You just see that the headings, the titles, but no counties on file. And it does give me that indication here. So what I need to do is get in there. I'm going to hit edit. I want to make sure that the county or counties that I would like to volunteer in are listed here. Um, so I live in the Phoenix area. So what I'm going to do is open up. Oh, I'm sorry. I ended up opening the wrong one. Um, I am going to open up the Arizona Lewis and Clark. You will only have once because I'm affiliated with with a few different areas. I end up with a handful in mind, but you should only see one of those headings. I'm going to select my state. Then what it's going to do is show me all the counties in my state that do actually have a history of hosting blood drives. So I'm going to select my county, which is Maricopa. Then I'm going to hit add. Now you'll see that Maricopa County popped up here in, in my list. Very important step is to click this red button at the bottom in order to save the changes. Once I hit save, you will see that right on my profile page now that it is listed that I have a biomedical county set. So once that is done, I can return back um, to my home page or go directly into the my shift section. But let's just return back to the home page. You will see that it didn't change my home page at all. There's really no indication um, whether I have those counties set or not from the home page. So it's really important to go into your profile to update those. Next thing, you wanna head over to My Shifts, which makes sense, you're looking for a blood drive shift, and you're going to go into the Global Shift Tool. I have many Global Shift Tools due to my administrative rights in the system. You will have one Global Shift Tool for blood drives. Um, if you hold another, um, another title that offers you access to different shift tools, they may be listed here as well. But the one you always want to look for is ending in blood drive schedule. So in my area, it's Arizona Lewis and Clark blood drive schedule. So I'm going to open that up. And what you do see here is I do have some administrative privileges. So this uh, toolbar here at the top that will not be showing for you, but you will see the title of the blood drive schedule. And now what you see here is the um, the listing of all the blood drives that are taking place in that biomedical county that I set. So this is Maricopa County specifically. If I had not set that biomedical county in my profile, this calendar would show up completely empty. It would look as if there were no blood drives. And there are blood drives, there are plenty of them as you see here, but really what we were seeing is there were none um, that, that there wouldn't be any because I hadn't set my biomed profile. So here, from here, we are able to use some filters to select some shifts. So let's say, you know, I know that I want to stay um, close to home, even though I've set that county designation as Maricopa County, it's a pretty large county, and I don't necessarily want to go all the way to the other end of the town. So what I might do is type in um, a town that I want to stick to and hit apply filter. And what I'll see is in the month of September, there are a handful of blood drives that took place in my town, Scottsdale, Arizona, um, because now it is the 30th of September that I am making this video. A lot of these dates have already passed. So that shows that the drive is um, closed now because it has been um, in the past. So let's just toggle over to October for learning purposes. And what you'll see here is there are also a handful of blood drives taking place in my town that I set as that filter in the month of October. What you see is even though these drives are in the future, many of them are grayed out already. That means that they are full 
um, that no help is needed there any longer. What you really want to look for as a volunteer looking for a shift is the drives in blue. Um, so I see here that there is a drive at the city of Scottsdale on the 19th. That is a time I have some availability. So what I'm going to do is just open that drive up. So click right on that calendar um, tile and it will bring up more information about the blood drive. You'll see exactly the location of the drive. You can even click on view map and it will pull up a Google map so you can see specifically where that drive is. Tells you the type of drive. So it is a blood drive, not a high school drive. Um, this may also say like Red Cross um, facility, like a Red Cross center, or it could say that it is a bus drive, a mobile operation um, on one of our mobile units does tell you the type of shift that is needed, as well as the goal of the blood drive, the hours of the blood drive. Um, if this one looks good to me, which it does, um, I'm going to register myself there. So all I need to do is click this red register button. Um, I do have many positions, so I just need to make sure I pick one of my positions. If you have numerous positions, it will ask you to do the same thing. If not, um, you'll just be able to register quickly. So I'll hit register. What we'll see here is a new pop-up confirming that I am registered for this drive and also a confirmation that I have re will receive an email confirming the blood drive information as well. Um, so that's a really great feature. It all, always will pop into your, um, into your email address on file. So now I want to return back to the calendar. Um, I wanna select another drive um, either for October or maybe November. Um, but what I did want to point out here is what you see now is that drive I just registered myself for is showing up in green. Um, that is a great indication that I am registered for that blood drive. Um, so really great visual. Another thing I also wanted to show is if I go back to my home page, so you log into Volunteer Connection, it will show your own calendar here on your home page and events or shifts that you have coming up. So here is mine, um, my calendar, that blood drive donor ambassador shift on October 19th is also showing from my home page. Um, so really great opportunity to get in there, get yourself signed up based on your availability, your location preferences, um, you, you're able to handle it all on your own. Um, let's say I suddenly, um, tomorrow I realize, um, or I'm scheduled a brand new appointment on October 19th that I cannot get out of. Um, so I know I need to, to change my blood drive shift. I'm gonna go back into the blood drive schedule. I'm gonna toggle over to October because I know that's where that shift is that I am signed up for. There it is in green. So I know that um, good indication that that's mine. I'm gonna open that back up. And what you'll see here now, all that same information that we saw when we were trying to register, except now that red button says cancel. So I'm able to get back in there, cancel myself. Your registration has been canceled. I'll also receive a notification via email that that has happened. Really great best practice is when you need to cancel something that you've been scheduled for, please reach out to your local volunteer rep or your local scheduler to make sure that they're aware. It doesn't automatically notify them that you have canceled, um, especially if it's in a very close window. You want to make sure you let them know you've canceled so they can really work to try and find someone else to fill in for you. And that is how you register for a blood drive using the My Shift section of Volunteer Connection and the Global Shift tool.